So your dad releases a book. Mm. And the one thing that a lot of people focus on in the book that he mentioned that Whitney had an affair with Tupac. No, I know nothing about that. <laughs> I know nothing about that. When you that. heard about it, how did you, how did you react? <laughs> I, I don't know. Did you, have you ever met Tupac? Like during yeah, I met Tupac when I was younger. I guess him and my dad were friends. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they were such close homies. But um, yeah, when I was younger, I met him. He had like a, like a corset on or something. Like, what is this thing the women wear? Corset. Yeah, one of these with like a with like suspenders that attached to it. He probably had it custom made. I mean, well, the, the the black leather one. The black leather one. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah the death the row, the death row days. He had the black leather one with the bandana on, and he just was just talking to me at random. You know how people talk to kids when they they see a kid. Hey, what's up, little man? Yeah, you know, just stuff like that. But I didn't I didn't get to like hang out with him a bunch or anything. Yeah. So when you heard when you read, I mean, did you read your dad's book? Yeah. Okay. When you read that part, <laughs> how did you feel? I didn't know how to feel about that. That was a little bizarre. <laughs> I was like, oh, that happened. Oh, okay. So that's why you guys weren't hanging out. You know, I, don't, <laughs> I didn't know how to feel about it. Um, just weird. Just weird. You know, I, don't, I don't know much about that. So then the, you know, the catastrophe happens. Yeah. With Whitney. Mm-hmm. You know, at, at that point, when it happened, you and Whitney were still talking? Still keeping in touch, or had some time passed? I had seen her, I had seen her maybe a little bit before that. Um, like I said, all the years blur together. So trying to come up with a specific day is, is like impossible for me. But... I thought I had just seen her. I just saw you. I just spoke to you. We just went over some music. We just went through this. And it's just it's just not real, you know, right when it I mean, I feel like that's that's how it is for anyone, yeah. not just for us. Yeah, no one's know. ever ready for something. Exactly. Like that. You know, right when something happens like that, you're like, Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So you didn't believe it? No, especially because there's so many lies within the media. It's like right. get get out of here. She's they're gonna say she's all right tomorrow. And I call my dad and he's like, no, this is real. Get back here now. Because I was in Arizona. Get back here now. How, how was your dad over the phone? Was he crying? Was he falling apart? My dad, my dad can, can be, how do I put it? My dad's not a super emotional person. Mm-hmm. My dad can react a kind of way in, you know, to a scenario when it happens, when it occurs. He's ready for it. So his first thing to say to me was, you know, where are you? What are you doing? Okay, you're far. Where's your sister? Immediately. So we're on the same page. Because as much as I want to react to her passing, that's not, that's not what I can do anything about. It's, it's done. It's gone. It's over. I need to figure out where my sister is, who's around her, because if she's around some idiots, this is not going to be okay for my sister. As traumatized as she probably is right now, someone around her can make it that much worse. Yeah. Got to find her. Got to find her. Then I find out she's with several of the worst people. And I'm just like, oh, my God. My dad's, get, get back now. So I hop back in the car and I drive for hours back from Arizona to California. Still can't find her. Still can't get in touch with her. When you say she was with some of the worst people, what do you mean? I mean she was with some, of, some people that... I would prefer her not to be around. Okay. So uh, was this Nick Gordon? Per people, I prefer her to not be around. Okay. So you can't find your sister. No. I don't know where she is. They say she's in some kind of safe house. Safe house. Yeah, I didn't even get it. Like she's in some kind of. That's what I was told. She's in some kind of safe house. So I'm just like, sh- like what? Like come on. There's got to be a way to get to my sister. Can't find a way to get to her. I don't know what to do. How, what, what, are, what do I do next? So you're freaking out. Yeah. I'm fig- trying to figure out my options. None. No options. But patience. Wait. Your sister will reach out to you. Just be patient. She'll contact you. If she wants to, if she needs to, she'll reach you. I'm calling every number I can to try to find her. Nothing's coming up. Now all you can do is wait. Just be patient. Okay. 
And it eventually paid off. You know, eventually she contacted me and we didn't talk about her mom. We just talked about life and we talked about fitness and we talked about uh, music. We talked about music. She's working, working, working on this music and we need to write some music. We need to sing some music. And we talked about Nick. Um, that conversation was short. <laughs> okay. So then the funeral happens. Yeah. Everyone, everyone shows up, all the kids and everything else like that? Yeah. Um, we were all together except for my sister, Chrissy. We were all together and we went there together. They told my father that we couldn't sit in the same pew as him. We had to stand up in the back. Hmm. So I said, okay, well, then we're going to leave because I'm not going to do that to my kids. Which, which blew my mind because if, if Whitney was there, she would have did the same thing. You know, she, come on, like, it just felt like, you know, at that moment when they said that to my father, it didn't matter where I was going to, I'll stand up in the back. I'm not tripping. I just want to be around my sister. I just want to pray for my, for my old mom. Um, but what hit me was they are really willing to disrespect my father like this. Whoever... Whoever said this to him, whoever set this up so that this person would say this to him, they were, they were really willing to hurt his feelings like this. They're really willing to make him suffer right now. He just wants to be around his daughter. And he just wants to say goodbye to his wife. Wait, so th they were separating your father and Bobby Christina? No, no, no. No, no. They were separating us from him. So okay. for him it was, well, man... I love my daughter, Chrissy, so I'm going to make them suffer. I'm going to tell them, you know, okay, beat it, you know. I'm going to sit here with her. You guys just, you, you, you understand, right? It's not what kind of person he yeah, is. Strange. Yeah. You know, he, he wanted to be there for my sister and say goodbye to his wife. But they weren't even really, I mean, it was just so much drama. The police said they would arrest me if I went near my sister. So it was just a lot of... The police said they would arrest you if you went near Bobby? Yeah. Why? Which, I don't know. I have no idea. I tried to get past them. They said, listen, they, they were really calm about it. They weren't rude. They were just, listen, if you keep trying to get past us, get to her, we're going to have to arrest you. I said, that's my sister. He said, don't care. And who were these people? Um, Managers or? No, no, no. There was the police. It was the police. It was, it was a, an officer. And I don't know under what orders he, he was told this, but that's what he, he just, he was really calm about it. He's apologetic. He's like, I'm sorry. Yeah, just doing just, my job. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just doing my job. And again, I understand work. I've had millions of jobs myself. I've been in every kind of job. So I understood, you know, if I mess with your job right now, you have to do what you have to do. So I'm not mad at you. Yeah. But I am frustrated and disappointed. The funeral happens. After that, what was really the mind state of your dad, of your sister? I, mean, I don't know. You're kind of asking me to be psychic here, you know. Um, well, I mean, did you guys have conversations about it? Did, did at one point, did, did, did Bobby Christina ever tell you how she felt about her mom passing in the way that she did? And You know what I mean? Because you're not supposed to lose your parents so young. You, you know pray. what I'm saying? It's, we would pray. If she, would, if she ever brought her mother up, we would pray. Okay. It would turn into prayer. You know, it wasn't a deep, long conversation about how she felt about it. It'd be brief. You know, I miss her, but I know, I know she's in a better place or, you know, I miss her, but I know this. And I, and I didn't want her to relive it. It didn't feel right as a big brother. It just didn't feel like, like this. It kind of felt like I would be more selfish to ask her about it yeah. than if I just let her talk and then talk about something else. I don't know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe that wasn't the way you're supposed to do it.